I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, Danny's about to leave and apparently it's 111 in the garage actual temp. My hair is icky, didn't want to cooperate. I need to start rebraiding and I just haven't felt like it. I just asked Sebastian if he was still playing inside a friend's house because our heat index just reached 110. Lovely. It is so hot. I knew it was going to be hot when one of my first emails of the day was from the library mailing list saying that they were opening as Heat, uh, cooling centers. You know it's hot. Anyway, Jax has gone to a weekend away with friends. I don't, I've never met these people. So it's scary, it's scary. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Danny's about to leave and apparently it's 111 in the garage actual temp. <sighs> yeah, Jax just left around just before four. A friend's dad is driving them from here to this town out. I guess the closest big city is Richmond. So yeah. We provided some cash and I guess Jax was stressed on the way out the door. We didn't get a thank you for that. No goodbyes, it's just, you're stressing me out with your messages. I was just, it was 20 minutes before leaving time and I was like, do you need a bag for your stuff? Probably did, couldn't zip up the computer bag that all the clothes were stuffed into. Anyway, hopefully it'll be all right. I wrote notes for the parents driving and the parents hosting. I believe the parents hosting are driving back as well. So it's just stressful. But today we slept in a bit. I had a hard time getting to sleep. Danny wanted to snuggle, which is sweet, but I it's so hard for me to sleep. And so and I was so sleepy, so I was dozing on it off but not sleeping well, but then I was out, I was out. I didn't wake up till Sebastian came in. Luckily it was eight or nine, which is great for him. He really needed that because he was up super early and up very late. We got ready and took the Jeep out to our favorite diner. It's so nice to be going there again. We had a four year break. Oh, there's Danny. Come by and the Jeep. Bye, Danny. Yeah, we had a four year break because of COVID. It's just really crowded and tight in there. This is our first time sitting at the counters. They actually had three seats open. We only had three of us. Jax has us bring home to go. So that was fun and tasty. I haven't eaten since then, except I had a few chips. <laughs> which are low salt, but they're still hurting my lips. My lips get chapped and salt bothers me. I've been doing a little crochet because I really want to get this chair cover because my aunt's blanket, it's just, it really needs a deep cleaning and to be folded up and given a break. It's been really put through it. But I'm gonna take a break because I think I want to hammer some nails now that no, nobody's home but me and the dog so I think I'm gonna do some framing and nailing I think I don't know I don't know if I want this here 
I left it here. I hung it for Sebastian, but he hasn't done anything on it since the first day. So maybe I'll cover it with some art. Like stick, Let's see if I have more magnets. But yeah, that's, I wanted to say hi to you. I haven't said hi, here, have a hug. Ooh, a hug from me. All right, I'm going to plug you in to charge. Maybe I can do a time lapse. I don't know if we can get a good angle. And just work on this for a bit until I need to figure out dinner for Sebastian and I. filmed anything recently, I don't know. I don't know. I think I filmed that I took a bath. <laughs> Sebastian wanted me to order food. So I did that from the gas station place. I paid the $2.99 to have it express delivery. That means it comes straight to you, even if they're gonna like deliver something else afterwards. And said she was waiting for the food but then I saw her start driving and it still said waiting at the store to pick up waiting at the store to pick up and it was like going past the initial estimate of when it would be there and she was stopped in a neighborhood and stopped there for a couple minutes and I was like this is really weird I took a screenshot and then suddenly, in the middle of this neighborhood, like you could see the apartment building if you zoomed in, it said, order picked up on the way to you. I'm like, oh, you lied. And at this point, I mean, she came to us, but our food was all like sweaty and soggy. I got stuff that I really didn't want soggy. I don't usually drink fizzy drinks, but it's feeling good to clear the allergy phlegm. Little flemmy. So, yeah, I was a little annoyed. I was like, why did I pay this? It's all a scam. And I sent the screenshots to support, like I clicked help and I had to go through their little AI bot. It didn't understand my question. So I had to wait for a real person. It's like, this will take one minute. And it took like five minutes, but whatever. I didn't have to repeat myself. They just, they're like, I'm looking into this. And then all they did was like, we'll give you $5 credit. They always do that for like every issue. I'm like, but whatever, that's fine. That fixes it. Cause that covers the $3 I paid. So I'm like, yeah, fine. I'm not gonna order that again. But we had a good dinner. I'm trying to hydrate myself. Does anybody know if I need to cut this off and propagate it? It's getting so heavy. Can it handle being like that? And look at this one. It's starting to get some weight so it's not straight out anymore. It is so crazy. Look how close it is to me. Boop. 
Let's see, I would normally sit like this, so I guess it's to the side a little bit. <sighs> so, yeah, it was a pretty good day. Not much going on. Oh, let's see. I finally realized that one of my most recent frame acquisitions from the thrift store fits my beanie painting. This is China Bean, our Chow Chow German Shepherd mix. That was the first dog we ever rescued. We got her from Heart Homeless Animal Rescue Team. And we had her about 13 years. Love her so much. She died in my arms of old age. But I painted that a long time ago for my favorite photo I took of her. I think I want to take it down and varnish it just for extra protection, but I'm not sure. Maybe I want the matte look. Yeah. I did have glass in the frame, but it was so heavy, and this is a frame where you need to put two nails in, that I was like, I really don't want to have to put anchors, and taking the glass out made it so much lighter, so I was able to just do normal screws. So, I added that. I put these two here. This is going to be a DIY, so it's, it's not done, and I did those, and I plan to hang this little vintage frame that I colored black and put that there. It'll eventually have something in it <laughs> as well this. Like a lot of things, they either have temporary paper or nothing at all. I'm just like space holding because I know I want the frame there. I finally hung that one up. The frame broke trying to pop the stupid glass out. I hate these that I got for 75 cents each because you have to pop the glass out from the front and some of them are so tight. Yeah, but I just stuck it back together. It's the reason why these are not in there. They're just stuck to the outside because I haven't wanted to go through that again. I also moved my clock over. You can see how late it is. Sebastian's eating deep fried Oreos that I ordered because I was like, <laughs> Let's just add something fun to try. I had one and that was plenty. And I hung up this lady. This frame did not come with glass, but it's printed on a canvas. So I think it's fine. I really like her. I think she was on the cover of Life Magazine in like 1917, 1912, something like that. She's gorgeous, gorgeous. Is that all I did? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to do more, but food got here. Like, I, I realized it was six. I thought it was only four. Because my brain, like, looked up, and it saw the six, and it was, like, 1600. It's four o'clock. And then I walked into the other room, and I saw it was six o'clock, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally was reading 24-hour time on a regular clock. And I had to stop and order the dinner and deal with all that, so. I don't know where everything I was gonna frame will go. I actually took down the cow because I was gonna start thinking about what I wanna do here and I wasn't loving it there. Cow might end up over here because I don't really super love this one. I kinda wanna paint something on canvas paper and add it in <laughs> in the same style. That'd be funny. I think a total roll or something. Oh, I was gonna show you what I was gonna frame a next. I have a square frame that I got from the first store. It's from a hotel in Leesburg, so I really have to rip it apart because it's professionally framed and taped on in the back. But I'm gonna hang this Matisse in it. I'm not gonna have the writing that was added. The place I got it from. I'm gonna just crop it to the art, and I think it's gonna be a perfect fit. But there's my blanket so far. It is going to be a chair cover. I think it's gonna look really nice. I just finished a ball of yarn. So somebody's coming up for bedtime, right? And it's the only reason? Well, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> uh, 
anyway, Piggy's up here because it's bedtime. I was just doing my nighttime video so I can edit. Hey, you should show him your muscles. He's like, do I have muscles? And I'm like, dang, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that arm muscle right there. That is so impressive. He was doing a workout. He's so cute because he has to have one of Danny's meat sticks there. He eats his protein after he does a workout. They're expensive. The grocery store that I originally found them at, they've raised the price 20 cents each, but luckily Daddy found a bag at Costco now that he's hooked on them. <sighs> Siggy, you have three times today you've run from the room and like crumpled the rug up into a little ball. Okay, well, I think that's everything. I'm just babbling. Good night, everyone. Stay safe. Don't hiss at him. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.